sure did. I'm going to show you this thing. Pull it over. These are, I don't know nothing about guns, so I don't know if they ate me or what. But, uh, <coughs> these are bullet holes. And, uh, Knock a chunk out of there like that. That was the AK-47. I'm talking right. <coughs> That's in these two blocks, Euclid to Penguin. I would say I know at least seven people who done got murdered just between those two blocks. So we purpose to come to shake the community up. Yes. To make people pass and wonder why we're here, what yes. drives us here. Yes. And then as a sign of love to them, when they look out and see somebody care that much about me, I need to start caring about myself. Yes. Yes. So we're here because we believe in the power of prayer. Yes. The prayer can sanctify these sidewalks. Yes. So that those who walk on these sidewalks, punked out, drunk out, whored out, whatever outing they have had, because all of us got something in us, Amen. but a lot of people have been outed, mm -hmm. and they can't control themselves. Well, yes. mm -hmm. They're no longer in charge, so we're here to sweep them out the cracks. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're here to put the light on the table. It was pretty bad, and he was just turning his life around. He was about to lead a neighborhood, you know, go with his, uh, go live with his, uh, his dad's family, you know, some cousin. Yeah, it was, it was, it was sad. The, the night before we seen him, though, I mean, the night before he got killed, you know, it was, uh, I saw him, and, and my last memory of him is we were just sitting around, drinking some beers and having a good old time. You know, he was smiling, he was happy, he was telling me about the move. Right. And then the very next day, I was coming home from work, and uh, somebody told me. Oh, it was such a sad, sad time. Man. Well, the only hope for the community is the church. If the, uh, the churches move out, <coughs> that's it. And you see the lady over here with the flowers in the yard. You still got people trying. You got, got people still believing. And I guess that's the lesson of the church more than anything else, that you got to have some believers. But you see you got plenty of vacant property here. All these was from the first wave of crack to come through. And just blew this on out. Molly, I'm not trying to bring up anything that might, you know, disturb your emotions or nothing like that. But your brother was killed on Linwood, right? And what was the other little boy had the glasses? His brother named Cody go here, but you know he had the glasses and or did he take somebody? How, what, however, but he was killed right here at the store here by them glasses. I just had the film. How long ago was that? Was that two months even? Is it? Is it like two months? About two months. Okay, but I, I would just say, how many people <coughs> did we lose this summer right here on the Linwood Strip, you would think? Oh man, I can't count all Ten or better. Ten count. or better. Ten or better. Well, you know, it's terrible. Sunday morning now. Okay, I'm gonna come up here. Start, man. You know you came up in the church. <laughs> Lord have mercy, that, that hurts you. See, because he started out in church. He had a younger brother, his younger brother got out there and I guess started making fast, fast money. I was trying to talk to him and he, I mean, 12, 13 years old, he would pull out a knot, show you a big knot. And he left out the church one Thursday night and he walked right across the service station. And when he got to that clear land, Popped it. I've always felt it was my job to revitalize the neighborhood. Our mantra at the church is, we're the salt of the earth, light of the world, sit on the hill that cannot be hidden. 